Hey everyone, it's Nick with Save Your Plant. Um, today I want to show you, since it is seed germinating season, uh, you need to get your seeds started right now if you want to have your tomatoes ready for spring. Um, there's also a lot of plants that you need to start now, such as flowers, you know, uh, your daisies, that one, carnations. Um, if you want to have those flowered by spring. Uh, so I want to show you what, basically what I do is I use these pony packs. These are recycled. This is from plants that I purchased from Home Depot, and I always keep uh, the packs. Uh, after before I use them, I always just give them a good rinse under some high pressure water, no soap, just a good rinse. Uh, all right, I'll show you how I do my soil. Um, I already mixed it up. And just ran to my get my camera to show you guys how I do it. So I always mix one full bag of the miracle Grow starting uh, seed starting potting mix, a couple handfuls of just standard potting mix. Um, this is EB Stone Organics. You can use any brand that you have access to. And just a little bit of planting compost, so two handfuls of this, two handfuls of this, a full bag of this. And basically what that gives you is a nice fluffy mixture here. So the seed starting mix is basically soilless it doesn't have any nutrients it's very neutral so that's why I add a little bit of the potting mix and the compost it's not necessary but I found that uh, once the plants come a little bit more mature you know they need these nutrients to thrive to continue to grow uh, they'll get to a certain point and basically kind of stop growing or slow down growing uh, with just a seed starting soil so Adding a little extra nutrients to it really helps them out. Um, all right, let me show you guys how I do it. A little rocky here for a moment. Right, check this out. All right, so this is my setup here. Um, please excuse the mess. I also have a little container of water here. Now I have a container of water in here. <laughs> You'll see why I have that for now. So first off, what you want to do is grab your pony pack, come over to your soil, just fill it up, just toss it on there. everything so it's nice and flat important step very important step over here you gotta check this out now it's only works if you have like pony packs with the same size bottoms all right so what you want to do is line it up so right now this one is facing this way and so as you can see all right so go ahead and tap it down get it nice and tight and that's what you're left with you know perfect flat surface removes a lot of the air pockets. Next what I'll do is I'll come over here. This is why I have the water. And let's go ahead and I wet the soil. Let's give it a pre-water so that when you put your seeds in here and you give it that second watering, you're not washing your seeds around because you have to use a certain amount of water to get it thoroughly soaked. Okay. So like so. I'm gonna let that sit and drip a little bit. But I have some that are already all set, already watered. So let's go ahead and get some seeds in it. Alright. So what I like to do is you know, any kind of object to make a tiny little hole. About a quarter inch. It's just the very tip. Just make a perfect little circle in the center, like so. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get rid of any extra like debris. Like uh, the seed starting mix has a lot of little pieces of bark. Um, you don't need that stuff. It just kind of gets in the way of the plant, of the seed growing. What I'm going to go ahead and plant today is our artichokes seeds. These are seeds that I saved from my artichokes over in the front now what you want to do with these is you want to examine the seed first okay 
the bottom of the seed you can see it has like this little flat section that's where the roots will come from so I'm just going to go ahead and plant that downward uh, I've also seen people plant them on the side sideways which is also fine it'll work just fine but I like to just do downward Three more to go. One more to go. And I plant one seed at a time. I put one seed in each cell. If you don't have as great luck germinating, go ahead and do two. But then if both grow, you have to remember to go back and uh, cut one of them away. Thin them out. Okay, that take a little bit of extra uh, same soil. Just top it off like so. Give it a little jiggle, and a little bit more soil. All right, and then come back with the water, and you just give it just a little bit. It doesn't need to be thoroughly soaked, because you already pre-soaked it. All right, and that's it. Now it just goes underneath some grow lights uh, for seed germinating. Ideally, you want to keep the soil at least around. 65 70 degrees uh, cold soil does not germinate seeds very well so these will have to go inside underneath seed germ germinating mats and it should take an artichoke i've grown artichoke from seed before it's very easy it's very hardy plants and you got to get these started now if you want artichokes come um, autumn or late summer and it takes about a week but the mats it usually kind of speeds it up, so I should see these germinating within three days. Alright, so that's how I do my seeds. Um, I'll go ahead and get a lot more done. I have a lot of seeds to germinate. I'm shooting for at least 500 plants this year. Alright, well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Also check out my website, SaveMyPlant.com, and you can see exactly what I'm doing this month in the month of February. Alright, talk to everyone later. Peace.